Why not creating a place for or using that place or creating a place in a, an additional place for having meetings and uh, debate about uh, architecture in general? I don't think that there are diff opposition between working with or working against, working close or work working. I think this is um, because every architect has, a, has an attitude about that, his way of interpreting the, the context and especially the historical monument. But um, I remember my first trip in Germany in the end of 70s and I was very surprised by the fact that the integration in cities was not mimicking, necessarily mimicking the context. And as in France in the and in the 70s, because of the beginning of the of the uh, postmodernism, uh, the teacher were learning, teaching us to to look at the context very carefully with the lines, with the, so a, a kind of mimicking, interpreting a kind of mimicking of the context. And for me, it was much interesting to look at the new construction in Germany in cities at this time, because it was re reinterpreting in a way with more freedom. And maybe this is not like that today, but it was at, it was at the end of the 70s. But, um, and I always felt, think that uh, being located in a context, whatever the context is, and especially in historical monument, you have to care about the place. And you have to care about the people of the place and the life of the place. So this kind of historical monument, um, working with this kind of historical monument, it could be a dialogue, why not? It could be staying hide from the place, uh, be very discreet, could be, I don't, I'm not sure that we have to be, to go to do a big gesture in front of that because it's a kind of control, it's a bit con an opposition of that. And um, I'm thinking, for example, about the, the debate that we had in France some years ago, more than 15 years ago, when uh, Renzo Piano was proposing, um, was, uh, was, has been asked to do an, um, a place close to the Ronchamp uh, chapel, and he was building a building. And everybody was, ah, oh, no, it's not possible, it's not possible, it's, we have to be discreet, this is to protect it, this is Le Corbusier, you have to respect this place. And, um, and it was a big petition, and we had to sign, uh, but I didn't sign. I didn't sign because I was thinking that every architect has the right to do, to interpret the way he built in, in front of such a building. And finally, he, re he redesigned his building, and he was inserting, inserting the, 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 the place, a new project, in, into the hill because it was a slope, and it read from the, from the church, it's not seen from the place you see the church. So this is a kind of dialogue that you can do. When you have a slope, it's easier for that. And um, so it's, for me, it's really depending of the architect and depending of the, its own interpretation. I don't have rules, you know. I don't have ideology for anything. So I, I feel the context and I interpret the context. Designing and, con and building a building uh, close to an historical landmark, it's always a challenge. For example, when I was working in the, for the macro in Rome, I had to interfere with an historical building, which is not classified, which was not classified, but it was protected by the um, architect in charge of historical monument in Rome. Even it was not interesting, very exceptional, but it was protected. So it's, um, it's an attitude that uh, is more and more now coming in the, in the cities and uh, because uh, the 20th century architecture is more protected than before. And um, this specific uh, building of Miss van der Rohe, which is a little house, is, um, as, how can I say, is remarkable because it's from Miss, but it's not, but, and it's very simple. And it's really something which is um, not remarkable in terms of, uh, strongness or strengths or something which is particular. His particularity is to be simple and very and very little. And but also this is a place. This is um, located on a high, a little slope above a lake, 
and it's and the, land, the landscape that is seen from the house is nice and beautiful. But if you look the house from the lake, the background is not interesting at all. This is more normal, more from the last years and the, the end of the 20th century, and it's quite ugly in a way, in a way. So the back context is not nice, the front context is better. Um, so this is, um, so this context, this defines the context for me. And um, if I would love, if, if I would like to, to do something on the place, first of all, I have to go there because I never do any project without going, going on the place. Because looking at photos is something, going on a place is something else. And for me, I have to feel the place. I have to feel the context. I have to feel the landscape. I have to feel the, the lake. I have to feel the house itself. And um, because to feel the size of the space. And um, this is the only way for me to, to think about a, a project for, for such a place. <laughs>